It's me again. Back on. Just uh, just flipped my album over, and now it's time to do album of the week. Uh, week three of February 2013. Um, I missed last week. BC Cheers once again. Um, so like I said, I'm sure you, you guys are going to be digging around and seeing my new video, but sure if you guys haven't seen it, just got a new table. Pioneer PL115D. It sounds fabulous. Playing in the background. I just flipped it over. My uh, VCLT from Vance, once again, thank you so much. I'm so, so excited to be listening to this fabulous piece of work by Yes. Um, getting into them, getting into them. So thank you so much once again. It sounds fantastic. Um, so let's get right into it. Album of the Week, week three of February. This is an artist that um, I have fallen in love with. I have found him found this individual and the band behind him when I was about 13, 14 years old. I've seen this artist live, front row. One of the greatest, in my opinion, single artists in today's music world. This, this artist released his first album in 1994. He was on the Virgin label for about uh, a span of about 10 albums, I believe. Um, phenomenal artist. You're looking at some soul, definitely rock and roll, blues, um, a little bit of reggae influence, um, and just a soft, tender voice um, at times, but can crank it up and just scream and belt the lungs out. One of the most versatile artists, I think, in today's music catalog. Um, one of my favorite artists of all time, and I'm dead serious when I say this. Um, this person, I think, at times gets overlooked um, and really should and deserves a ton of respect. This album that I have from this artist is the only one that I have from this artist in my collection, and it's my favorite, favorite album by this artist. Um, incredible, incredible musician, and he actually plays my favorite instrument, a Weizenborn. Um, and here it is, Ben Harper, The Will to Live, released in 1997, this is Ben Harper's third album, third release, um, absolutely incredible artist, Ben Harper, The Will to Live, um, this is back again, I love this, I love this skatefold too, I think this is a really cool image, it's got, uh, it's like a dead elephant or something here. And over here, looks like an African African massacre, I guess. Ben Harper, once again, The Will to Live. This uh, side A is Faded, Homeless Child, number three, Roses from My Friends, Jaw Work, I Want to Be Ready. And side B is The Will to Live, Ashes, Widow of a Living Man, Glory and Consequence, Mama's Trippin', and I Shall Not Walk Alone. Um, this album, if you, don't, if you aren't familiar with Ben Harper, pick up this album and his first two, this is his third and his fourth, the one after, if you really want a good feel for Ben Harper. This album, um, it, he is with his, his backing band, um, The Innocent Criminals. They're kind of pictured there. This is Leon Mobley, um, incredible, uh, this fantastic band. Um, so that's my album of the week, my pick, one of my all-time favorite artists, Ben Harper. If you, if you aren't familiar with him, please do yourself a favor and go out and dive headfirst into this guy's catalog. I saw him in the summer of 2010 in Chicago at the Vic Theater. I was front row. And I actually received the set list that night from his roadie, and I caught his guitar pick. Mind-blowing. He did a cover of, um, I might turn this down, it sounds a bit loud. Hopefully that's a bit better. Um, he did a cover of Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young's Ohio. And then he finished off his program, his uh, 
his set list with uh, Led Zeppelin's No Quarter. And Ben Harper does that guitar riff on No Quarter on his Weisenborn, on his, actually on his lap steel, plugged in, and he cranks up the distortion. And it was, it sent me chills. Um, in my opinion, okay, this is my personal opinion, this guy plays a unique instrument, the Weisenborn and the lap steel, and he has an interesting way of playing it. And I th do think that he is one of the greatest guitarists um, around. I mean, we all know Jimmy Page, Clapton. I mean, the list goes on, right? There's phenomenal guitarists, Santana, Jeff Beck. We can go on for days. This guy gets overlooked because he's younger, and he started his musical career, obviously, much later. But what this guy can do on a guitar, look up videos on YouTube. Ben Harper is just, oh, so powerful, so in your face with distortion, and then he can turn it down, and with his voice, he can put you to sleep and play the most gorgeous acoustic song you've ever heard. Um, this album highlights both both sides of Ben Harper, both the wicked hardcore rock and and the softer, more folky, um, jazzy, kind of lullaby sound. Fabulous, fabulous artist. So Ben Harper, The Will to Live. This is 1997, his third album on Virgin. Check him out. So that's my album of the week. And uh, we're back up. Like I said, Winslow's back. Back in the VC, got a new setup, new player, rearranged my living room. Everything sounds great, and I'm happy to be back. So subscribe, comment, and uh, we'll be passing around the VC love. Vibin' up here in Marquette. All right, thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys later. Take care, VC.